Hi, my name is Gary Duart, director of the U.S. Nuclear Energy Foundation in Reno Sparks, Nevada. We're doing a little demonstration today concerning the, uh, the strength and the rigidity of a nuclear waste uh, nuclear waste cask. Uh, these were designed back in the 70s by uh, Sandia National Laboratories and uh, the, the idea is that we're trying to demonstrate the resilience of these uh, casks. Uh, they have a, a large item at both ends which protects them from shock impact. The actual spent nuclear fuel rods are in the center of this section, normally about 16 feet uh, in length, <clears throat> and they fit these assemblies in there for the packaging purposes. They're made of uh, titanium, uh, stainless steel, etc., uh, lead, very thick, very protective of the keeping the materials within them inside. <clears throat> We're doing this to demonstrate the fact that through uh, logic and common sense, what would happen in an accident would be that the truck or a train transporting these would be running down the road, something got in front of it or whatever, it would hit it. Things would be destroyed, light poles and other vehicles, but the cask itself would not be violated and broken open. The, uh, the casks through engineering and science were designed uh, in addition to the uh, stability of the uh, physical unit itself. Uh, they were also immersed in uh, uh, flames for uh, 30 minutes at 1400 degrees and they also withstood that type of pressure as well. The reason we're doing this uh, display is that people don't realize that the design of the casks keeps everything retained with it intact. Some people believe that just by moving these down the street uh, in, in an, any area or location that they are reduced, they're uh, releasing radiation. That is not the case. They're absolutely sealed. And we believe that it's helpful that the public understand that these, the basics of these things uh, through engineering and, and science uh, does offer the protection uh, necessary uh, to fulfill the task of moving them. Uh, ultimately, they're supposed to be stored at the uh, Yucca Mountain Repository in Nevada, and uh, that debate goes on, and it's basically political opinion against the uh, science and engineering that has been developed for the, these things. So I'm just going to set this up and send it down the street to give you an idea of what would happen in uh, some type of an accident. <laughs> Boom! I missed the truck, but maybe next time we can get a better shot at it. But you can see a uh, vehicle rolls over takes a couple of telephone poles out, the cask itself, nothing is violated from it. This is an important thing because especially younger people don't understand uh, or at least they've not been exposed to 50 years in this country of the demonizing of the nuclear technology, nuclear power plants, etc. And we're trying to right that wrong. Uh, it's, uh, it's something that we feel that the, the government and the industry failed at, uh, is getting these types of messages over to the public. Uh, in order to satisfy the energy requirements that we have for the future, we must get nuclear power back into the mix. It's vital for this country, it's vital for the support of the green energy environment and the carbon release. There is no carbon releases from any nuclear power plant. And to demonstrate that 
this country needs to be to reactivate our nuclear industry at this point in time China is building 40 nuclear plants in order to expand their or to satisfy their energy needs uh, and for industrial production in the future this country has got to get re-engaged in an understanding about nuclear technology and the, the services it provides and the safety uh, above and beyond much of what uh, has been purported to the grassroots public by media and by politics. You, uh, we're asking that you really consider doing some research and study on the safety of nuclear technology. Thanks for reading this and I'm at, uh, watching this and I'm hoping and asking that young people who check this thing out will take the time to pass it on to their friends because uh, these things are really needed for us to develop and uh, provide the energy our country needs in the future and especially for competitive cost-effective uh, power uh, in order for us, for us to recapture industrial manufacturing in the United States of America. Thanks much for your time and interest.